Oh, up, I was up Tired shit. Oh my god! Oh, 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 Listen, AB, listen, AB does Fashion over men's sweatsuit. AB does some favor, you gotta pay it back. You gotta pay it back to him, you know? Big brand deal for you or what? Yes, big, big, massive, massive, massive. I know. No, I hate to say it, it actually... This kinda nice. It's actually lit. I think, I do like this though. We should rock this. This is my baby. This is my fucking baby right here. I just had no clothes, bro, and I had to pay AB back. The Nova Men does get Antonio Brown? By the way, you know we were scheduling a podcast during playoff football. You don't Chiefs. even know who's playing. Who's playing right now? Steelers, who's playing right bro. now, though? Chiefs and the Steelers. Before that game. Before that game was, uh, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Forget. It's your football. Yeah. Are we guys in happy dads for this episode? Yeah. I'm in, 100%. Should we get some dinner after? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I'm all in for anything. By the way, why the fuck are you here? <laughs> you hit me up to do this. No, I didn't. Yeah, why did. is Ed the fucking rat here? Truthfully, <laughs> don't get rattled too early, bro. Where is Salim? I've got a lot of shit. Where Salim's just been MIA. Is he golfing? He's golfing, bro. He's obsessed now. Like yeah. every every, it's all golf now with Salim. He doesn't do anything else. Yeah. Is he gonna come back? I don't know. It's up to you. I don't know. I mean, we're just kind of going with the flow. We sub people in and out, right? I'm just we're just doing the pod, seeing where it goes. I'm right? Really happy to be here. Yeah, but is this gonna be like a permanent thing? Is he going to be like in this shit? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I what are you so worried about? Maybe, I don't know. What do you guys call him? What do you guys think of Steiny on the show? Fuck, no. You guys I, don't know Steiny. It's Steve's assistant. Hold on, Bob. You get a lot of hate, bro. Like, if you didn't pull guests, I don't think that you'd have too many fans behind you. Well, the good you. news is I pull guests, Aaron. That's the good news. Now keep your fucking mouth shut, all right? Had a long night last night. Not happy. I don't even know. I'll tell you what. Wise ass motherfucker, this guy. Oh. He's a wise ass, cocky little Dude, shit. Why are you so rattled, bro? Sorry, I'm rattled. I don't Holy know. Fuck. I'm fucking rattled. I don't know why it's uncomfortable sitting next to you and talking to you and being this close. We did this for a year, bro. Yeah, I know. I was with you every day. You remember we you were together. like during Mentory Hell Camp? Yeah, it was you worked hell. for me. Yeah. It drove yes. me crazy, bro. Made you a better man. Now you're it rocking these fucking, fucking chains and driving around Lamborghinis like a fucking idiot. Bro, do you want to know what it's like trying to sleep every night and there's a guy pacing in your house and you can hear his footsteps? So th- trying to sleep with that gives you more Excuse anxiety than anything in your life. You're never allowed to reveal Walk out and then Bob's happen. sitting crisscross applesauce on the fucking counter. The ch- lip are in, eyes bloodshot. It's like 4 a.m. Working what's nonstop good? throughout the night. How do we get, by the way, Polly D, what's the connection here? I don't know Polly at all. Polly is, uh, he fucks with us a lot, He but he was talking to John. Okay. I met him at the airport, too, one time with his manager, and his manager came up to me. Nice. And then he said, Polly's, uh, he loves our shit. So is Jersey Store uh, sure still happening or no? Is it still I going on? I don't think so. No, it's off. Or no, they, I think they're doing a new season. Word. We should probably know that. He did a show with your boy, Vinny. Vinny. Um, Double Shot at Love. I actually watched a little bit of it. Right. Oh, so you did you, did you do research? Like, were you preparing for this episode? Yes, like, bro, I do research. As a new co host coming in hot? Because I did no research it at all. It takes 30 minutes to just go on the web and look at stuff. All right. You should try that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. So, you excited to maybe be a host in the uh, Full Send podcast here, potentially? Dude, any anytime I can do something content with you, I, I love it. It's fun. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's up? Nice. <clears throat> Gabe's horny. Gabe so horny. Fuck Polly D. I gotta pee really quickly. Yeah. What's up? What's good, How you doing, man? Aaron, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Kyle and Bob just went to the bathroom. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Paul, What's up, man? Thank you, Bob. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. It's performing tonight. You gotta go. We're fucking all in. Of course. Yeah, 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%. 100%
the whole pandemic obviously shut us shut down everything right but when it came back it came back like probably bigger than ever like it came back in a big way it's like these people when they took that year off they came back it was like built up they had to like let it out to party and same thing with me so it just went in we have been nonstop ever since everything opened how many shows do you do like a week depends like this this weekend we had a couple cancel because of the oh omarion i don't even play his music because uh the whole COVID stuff. I'm kidding. Is it is it capacity here though? Can any can you fill the place up here? Um. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck yeah. It's probably they, do. What do you think? They're they're open. Open. No, I'm saying no, they're they're in L. A. Right now. I, I live in Miami, so like you can do it. Oh, okay. I'm doing want, Miami but... on um Saturday. Really? We're Where? doing a story. Oh fuck. Yeah. On Friday. Nice. That's so just, does, does pussy just like throw themselves at you when you're doing the thing on the tables and like playing your deep? Like are they just like? <laughs> no, truthfully though, I want to know this. Like are they like fuck me? Like are they screaming at you and like what? How does they'll it work? put it on their phone and you'll see on the screen. You'll see tonight. They'll be like Boom. the Snapchat thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. What's the craziest message you ever got on one of those Snapchat? Things? Craziest message. Like Paul, I want to suck your dick or something. That's like pretty that? dope. Though. Oh my goodness. Um, there's been so many. We literally film them because like this, these people are crazy. <laughs> like, do you right. accept them ever or no? <laughs> nah. Just cause. Yeah. But when you're DJing, right? Mm -hmm. And like you spot one girl that's like smoking hot and she's like holding up the thing. Do you like, hot? what's your move to get? I, I used to. I used to do oh, like, you're, I, I got a girlfriend now, now. So yeah, I, I'm in a relationship, but I used to do that. I'm like, oh, yep, they're good. They want to party after. They're good. They want to party after. It, it's, it's like that. Yeah. That's fucking <laughs> that's so that's why for you. <laughs> yeah. I'll be so there. So, how many tonight. think you do like a month? Like how many shows? Um, It's all different. I have like um next weekend. So, we're doing. I have two shows on Wednesday, Madison Square Garden, New York. We're doing the Rangers game. Then we're doing Marquee in New York. And then we go from there. We do um, Michigan. Then I do Miami. And then I do Chicago. So it's like a double. It's like five a weekend. Damn. Yeah. Five a weekend. Fuck. Yeah. So this is full time. Started, that started on Wednesday. But but this past weekend, we had one cancel. On, I was supposed to be in San Francisco yesterday. That canceled because of the COVID. Usually three or four a weekend, but sometimes it's five. It's busy. But I like to do it. I love to travel. That's what I'm asking because I find that so cool. Like we're trying to set a date to do this and shit. And your schedule is just like mm -hmm. pack. Like you're like, you're, gr yeah. like you're grinding. Yeah, no, I'm glad. I, I'm, I'm blessed to be doing what I love and, yeah. and to be back after this whole pandemic and everything happened. What's your, what's your appearance fee? <laughs> it's it's different it depends on depends on what it is it depends private events are a lot vegas is a lot yeah how does that work like not you don't have to get you into actual numbers no? but yeah i do a residency with um with tau group oh nice so i do um john Marquise, schwartz, all man. over yeah john schwartz is good man really good dude that's where the, the guy's is, like right? my brother yeah i mean that's what you want to do is like you want to align yourself with the dopest spots like miami dave grutman you guys had him in here that was yeah. awesome yeah i was like that guy's the best he's yeah. the best he's a beauty he put me on and uh, now i only do his properties so he's loyal to me i'm loyal to him that that's like how residency works yeah, i only yeah. do their properties yeah like in vegas i can only do the tile group but i that's the only place i want to be yeah same thing with miami, miami i only want to be in david's spots yeah story live um, we were doing Strawberry Moon. He had a pool like that. Yeah, it's dope. dope. So yeah, that's like, what you want to do. Align what, yourself. What would it be spot. though? Like if I wanted you to come and DJ, like say my like family's having a party, and I want <laughs> no, truthfully, like what would the appearance be? be? Jesus, that'd have to be it, a lot. It's a lot. Listen, the part, the Is private six parties, would've, yeah, really for sure, six figures. Have you fucking strum on the things? Yeah, for a private party, hundred percent, wow. all day long. That is that's lit. Awesome. Good yeah, for like you. we do Sweet Sixteen stuff like that. The private events like that for sure. Okay. And you probably There's money in DJ, man. One hundred percent. Of course, that's so. That's fun. No, it's good. I'm blessed. I, listen, I, I do it because I love it. But obviously, the money's the money's the money. How how did that transition happen? Because obviously, Jersey Shore was your mm -hmm. big thing. So how did the transition from Jersey? But you were Shore always to, DJing. Right? Yeah, I've been DJing since I was oh my god, like fourteen years old, doing birthday parties and Sweet Sixteens back in the day locally in Rhode Island, the smallest state in the U.S. Right. That's so to me. The television show, I used that as a platform. I used that as an audience. So it was dope. It, it wasn't about me being a DJ. I just, that's what I was. And that's all I knew. And so I put that on the show. And then the show got popping. Then I started getting all these bookings, right? And those bookings are the from the popularity of the show. But then if you're a talented DJ, then that's how you get the residencies in Las Vegas. That's how you keep this going. I had a residency in Las Vegas for like 10 years now. Still going. Still really? doing it. Still signing. So I used the show as a commercial. Mm -hmm. which is dope. I love that. No one really has that type of commercial, that exposure. Use that exposure to do what I love. It's dope for me. It's a win. It's yeah. kind of similar what you guys do too because the vlogging shit, right? So your life is always on. You always had a camera on you when you were filming that show. It was 24-7? Yeah. Yep. Everywhere you went? Yeah, so when we, were, when we were doing Jersey Shore originally, it was 24-7. Like We were sleeping on camera. The way they do it now is kind of dope. It's almost like a housewife style. Well, yeah. they'll come to my house now, and they'll film. Like, we're filming right now. We're actually airing right now and filming right now. Really? Yeah. So, like, they're filming Madison Square Garden. So what's dope about me is they film my gigs, and they film me on the road a little bit. 
So they'll they'll tell me which ones they're coming to, and then we'll do our what we call it a home kit. They'll film me at home packing or doing the home stuff, the gym and all that other stuff. But when we were doing Jersey Shore at the house, um, that was twenty four seven. Right. By the way, you guys blew the shit up out of that house like that. I know. Nobody <laughs> made that kind of noise at that house since we did, and you guys did that. That's that's what put my eyes on you guys. Really? I was like, this is so dope. You guys probably got kicked out and shit, but it was dope. It made so much. Well, we noise. always wanted to spend a night at the Jersey Shore house. So then, yeah. like when we finally did it, we were gonna do it for our merch drop, and then so we Bro. booked it and shit. And we got cops. We got everything. We did everything right. And yeah. we were just posting stories in the house. Like, we weren't even saying, like, yo, everyone pull up. Like, yeah. we're throwing a party. People just came. Insane. That's That made so much noise. And I was like, that's what's up. I wanted to go so bad. I think I was DJing or something. I think I was oh in Atlantic God. City. Imagine you pulled up. I wanted up. to pull up. See, yeah, somebody asked me to pull up. I was like, yo, I want to go. These guys are making that's some noise crazy. over there. You made it. Now, Danny, kick you guys out, too. The guy that owns yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know what happened What's good with that house now? It's just like an the Airbnb? House, they make money. They rent I, it I out I thought still. he lost his, like, license, though. Oh, no. We I, had to pay, like, 50K in police fees that night. Oh, are oh, you shit. serious? Yeah. That's crazy. That's wild. So it's, it's just you guys like, shut it down. You made so much yeah. noise there. It was nuts. We're the only people that made that noise and since you uh, you guys now made the noise there. Have I you gone back there at all? Um, Just passing by. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't gone actually inside the house. But yeah, they, they're making bank. They rent it out for the weekend. Oh, yeah. And then people want to have that experience. But people were trying to do what you guys did every single time they go there. They want to make like this big bomb go off. You guys made the bomb go off. The jerseys. Yeah. I was yeah, trying yeah. to get one. It was sold out. You guys are lit. <laughs> what are your, uh, what are your, your, I got one now, though. What are your, uh, your DMs are all like female, right? Yeah, DMs and uh, uh, females and and, 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 and NFTs. Everybody wants to tell me to do an NFT now. That's what. Are you doing one or what? I, I'm. I have to now. At first, I thought it was going to go away, but now I, I think we have to. But I want to align myself with the right people, so I'm working on that now. Nice. We've been looking to a lot into that and that type of shit too. Yeah, it's fucking crazy, defaults, bro. It's getting crazy. The more you look at it, the whole metaverse and Snoop bought that property. Somebody bought the prop. A fan, yeah, I saw bought that. the property next to it for four hundred fifty thousand dollars. That's real money. So that's how you yeah, know it's real. Crazy. Now. I thought it was going to go away. It's not. I think the cool part of it is. The more you look at the just the technology of what an NFT is, not necessarily like the art. Yep. But I feel like an N- every ticket will be like an NFT in like five to ten years. Yeah. Because it's just it's the best way to verify that you have something. Yeah, your guy said it on the podcast. Gary, the guy, yeah. Oh wow, what he said it was was truth. He fucking he because explains he, it so well. He actually said it. He was like ninety eight percent of it. Blah, blah blah is bullshit. But that other percent. Yeah. You gotta somehow you gotta. If you hit it, you hit it big. Yeah. Right? So we're looking to do something now, but I don't really, I don't fully fully understand it yet, but. Okay, yeah. Back to the, back to the Jersey Shore thing though, yeah. real quick. Um, how many girls were in that house? Like, in the, I don't, I never watched the show before in my life. I, bro, how did you? Was, you're fucking um, horny today. Eh? I think there no. Was, I how just did like, you not watch the show. Either, I, look, you broke he, up with your girl. Right. You're just fucking, no, I, he's going through a breakup. I, break up my girl. I don't know if you have advice for him. He's it's, going through a breakup. Right his advice is oh, come oh, to the club tonight. Is he your girl from Jersey too? Uh, my girl is from Jersey. Yeah, you might, you may have seen oh, her at the crib. Damn, you might have seen her at the crib. What are so Jersey girls like? Way, hanging out what are what, what should I be worried about about Jersey girls? Like, is it her? Because it's like they they say there's some sort of something to worry she about. She Italian? Um, I don't know. I her, think so. I, think, <laughs> I, don't, know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is true months. too. He has no idea. Um, but to answer your question, there was four girls in the house and four guys. It was like eight of us living together in the house, and everybody was single at that time. Did you fuck every single one of the four girls? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. We were bringing home girls from the club. <laughs> oh, okay. So yeah. and the, the there whole there was some hooking up in the house, but. How many girls did you, f- and if it's uncomfortable to answer, don't worry Holy, about it. how many I girls have you fucked imagine. since season one to like? There was a lot of auditions. I was looking for a girlfriend, but yeah. they didn't make the cut. So it was, you have to try mm-hmm. audition them now. We, we, listen, we had a lot of partying, so there was a lot of. But it was every you know, night. Yeah, it was casual. Mm-hmm. So it was pretty much every night. It was, it was, it was. So was it, go ahead. How old were you when you started the show? And like, how did it, one, how did it start? Like. For for me, um, it was interesting. This is how long take ago it was. Take us from the very beginning. So from the very beginning, I'm going to take you back to MySpace. Yeah. Y'all okay. remember MySpace? Yeah, yeah. So I got a message on MySpace one day. I never tried out for television a day in my life. I got a message on MySpace. said that, hey, I'm a casting director. We like your look. We're doing a show. We love... Um, Just randomly on MySpace. Randomly. You didn't and post like, anything? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. My, my default hmm. picture was me like this in a tank top with like a tan and tattoos and muscles and Italian flag in the background. And that's what they used for my picture. But anyway, I didn't think it was real. So I never gave them my information until one day I came home from the club DJ and I'm like, you know what? Let me give them my number. And I gave them my number. They called the very next day. They're like, hey, so um, we want to film a day in your life. And I'm like, okay, I thought it was fake. So I gave them the info. They actually come to my house. And then I'm like, all right, so what do you want me to do? And they're like, just do what you normally do. So I took them to the gym. I had a tanning bed in my house. I took them tanning and then I took them to the club. And were they filming this? They filmed it all. And they filmed me on my bike. They filmed a bunch of stuff. They just filmed basically a day in my life. They filmed it. And then they went on their way, right? I didn't hear from them for like six months. And then, that, that, and then I get a phone call. They're like, hey, can you pack for 30 days? And, and we're going to come to the Jersey Shore. And I'm like, for what? And they're like, film this show that didn't have a name. And I'm like, I didn't want to do it because I don't want to lose my DJ gigs. Because I was DJing like six nights a week at these like local Rhode Island bars. 
and I didn't want to lose them. But anyway, I did, and I got these people to fill in for me. And then um, I went and filmed the show. It was like a like a real world type show. It's like I met those people as perfect strangers. We lived in that house, filmed it, and then again we went home. And I didn't hear anything or see anything till I saw. Um, I was doing my hair in the bathroom. So man. you guys filmed the whole first season of Jersey Shore. Yep. In thirty. And days? we did it for free. You did it thir- wow. thirty days. We though? did it for free. It took thirty days. Fuck. And just about MTV fucked you. No, not really. So did they tell um, you they were MTV though. They said it was supposed to be, it started off as VH1. Oh. But then it turned into the VH, uh, because it was so good, they're like, oh, MTV wanted it. It was supposed to be a So it was show. just a random production company. They hadn't sold it to a network yet at that they point. They did not, no. Right. And when it was VH1, was do- they were doing it for VH1. It was okay. like some Guido and Guidette type of show. They had no name. Right. They didn't even have a name for the show. Wow. Fuck. Um, but anyway, again, they didn't tell us anything. So all of a sudden, I, I'm doing my hair in the bathroom, and then I look at my TV, it's my, me doing my hair, and I heard my voice in the same bathroom I was doing my hair. I was like, I was tripped out for a second. It was a commercial for the show. Yeah. And I hit everybody up. I'm like, yo, the commercial's out. The commercial's out. And then I was like, oh, it was just, I thought it was just going to be that. Cool to see yourself on television and that's that. But the show blew up because was, there was mad controversy. Because mm-hmm. the Italian Americans were yelling at us. Yeah. A girl got punched in the face by a guy. Right. Didn't they really credit that punch in the face to why it blew up? Well, that's 100% part of it. Like, that's a huge part of it. Because, listen, that noise, um, it got people watching MTV that don't ordinarily watch MTV. So it premiered on MTV the first season? Yeah. Not VH1? Nope, MTV. And then, um, so then we, we ended up signing on for a second season, and they, they paid us. And they paid us for that. And then, um, again, I thought it was going to be two, two seasons, but it, it blew up and ended up being, like, the top show. And then... The stuff that we did as reality shows was insane. Like we were on Jay Leno, Ellen, like you guys stuff huge. reality you guys shows. It was the biggest do. show. I'm from Toronto, uh-huh. Mississauga, yeah. and it was huge. There. Were you? Were you like, the highest? Everybody watched it. Me and all my friends so watched it. My parents watched it. Like, yeah, something just clicked, and then I'm like, that's 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 what's up. And so that's why the DJ and everything for us it was a, it was a win win. We kept it going, and we're still filming now to this day. Right, eleven years later. It's were you the highest paid guy on the cast? There was, um, at first it was like me, Mike, and Nicole were like the highest paid, and then everybody ended up um, getting the good money now. Getting the good money. When did the good money come? Season two, three. Season two and three. Yeah. How does that progress? Like, what happens is um, your, your managers negotiate the deal, right? right? And like then, first um, season, you, well, you guys didn't get anything, but I know if first season nothing. TV, you don't get shit, right? Yeah, basically, you don't, um, if, if anything, it's peanuts because yeah. they don't know if the show's going to be everything. But if it does amount to something, they'll pay, you know? Mm-hmm. They'll pay you. But you got to negotiate that. And so we, Nicole and, and Mike and I were, um, we're, we're paired up. And so we, oh, we really? got good money. But then every, then we all paired up. And then everybody got the good money. And, then, and they paid it. So they treat us well. Did you ever get sick of the camera? Because my thing is they always want to do vlogs on YouTube and mm-hmm. the camera. Did you ever get sick of the cameras just following you 24-7? Well, yeah. I mean, so That's a whole I could never fucking out, do that. And you come and then it's like these lights wake you up in the morning and then there's there's somebody working on a set all night you can't really get much sleep there's alcohol there's clubbing and so that 30 days you like destroy your body yeah we worked that. out but we didn't eat right you know I mean, it's like certain yeah. things yeah so you're like if you're like fucking snooky or i don't know i don't watch the show but if you're like fucking that girl snooky or something like that is there a camera like in the room pan on you like Th- that's actually, you're like oh, you're fucking her and you're looking back you're like it's a good oh, question the, the i'm gonna tell you why it's a good question yeah no i was gonna ask because they have it's, cameras in the room the cameras in the room because i remember the shots you you're can just hear making them sex tapes you can right. hear them because they're they they are they're on a, con- a joystick control yeah wasn't that but anyway, a good question so we bring these girls home or whatever and then all they can actually film is like all right the cub is going under so you know what happens but they don't actually film the act they do that turn the cameras off no the family they they have that footage somewhere yeah. So like, like that's in a safe somewhere. Like those are our sex tapes. There's a lot of them. Really? I want to sell those. Probably somewhere. guys just beating <laughs> off to them and shit. Yeah, <laughs> for, real. for real. No, but those tapes exist. We always joke about it. We're like, yo, where's that footage? So how many think? How many sex tapes do you think they got? Yeah, on who, who was pulling the most in the house? <laughs> how many sex tapes? I mean, Mike was a savage at one point. Vinny was a savage. I was a savage. The guys were savages at, at one yeah, point. Yeah, who fucked them up? You, you definitely, you were number one. I was up there. I was up there. <laughs> Dude, I, I feel was like one of the top. The Jersey Shore girls aren't that hot though. They were kind of beat, right? Well, they were. They, we treated them more like our sisters because we got to know them. And so I we thought, didn't really I wanna... thought Sammy was bad. No, I'm not talking about one. them. I'm talking about like the girls from the bar. Like you were never oh. like, oh fuck, this chick's a smoke. Maybe one or two. Well, but yeah, but like as you're drinking, it's like, all right. Yeah. You mean you're starting to get drunk, you know that. Yeah. Who's who's who'd you like out of the girls? I thought Sammy, Sammy was the Sammy hottest was one, hot. but there was too much bullshit with her and the Ronnie. So Sammy was we were like joking around that she should come back because um her whole reason that she didn't sign back. She knows she's Ronnie, ne- right? Yeah, because right? Ronnie so why was she so hated though? Um I don't know, because they always fought all the time and 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 Bro, too much. It was it, fucking it, every day. It was every day. They were, I, that relationship destroyed me ever wanting a relationship for a while. I was like, I don't need one. That, that is enough drama for me. But um, anyway, so she was supposed to come back. 
And then she didn't want to come back to see Ronnie, but then now Ronnie's off the show for a little bit. He's taking a break. And then we're like, Sammy should come back. It's, it's, why would she say no to money? I don't know what she's doing now. Why wouldn't she come back? It doesn't make any sense. Sammy, you got to come back. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, like, we good. think she could come back, but. Is it like, is it scripted? Like a producer's like being like, hey, go and try and fuck Snooki or. No, <laughs> no, no. That, that's a good question too. Because like, just, our yeah, show. This guy wants to fuck I don't Snooki. know anything. No, no, no. I'm I like that guys, question. I don't fucking um, know. I'm sorry. I don't, I, want, I don't watch the show. I've never let, seen I want to tell you exactly how it happened. So. Yeah. Good job, be prepared. We, we get to the house, right? We didn't know what to do. Uh, there's no script. They don't tell us what to do or what, but there are things that we can and can't do. Sometimes they're probably poking you. Like, there's go, places go we Snooki. can go to that allow the camera. So they give you a book. They're like, all right, this is everything you can do. And then we just do whatever we want to do. Because really? you can't do it alone. So in other words, if I want to go to the boardwalk, well, I had to take somebody with me and then wait for the camera. That's the only thing. But there's no script. They don't tell us what to do. They don't, but... And even now, it's like they film it t sort of like housewife style. There's no script, but they're like, all right, call Vinny right now and ask him how he feels about whatever. Right. Like, but there's no script. We never really had a script, just, just a book of things we're allowed to do. Right. Can you take anything out or no? Was that? Like, if there was something you didn't like, could you take it out or no? No. Ah, oh, it's so crazy, bro. Soul. You couldn't we, we do that. We basically gave soul them soul. Soul. free reign. There, buddy. Soul soul it's not like the Kardashians where they can look and be like, nah, nah, I look bad <laughs> here. No, no, no. If you look like shit, they want that. They want we should produce shit. like a reality show or some Fuck. shit. Fuck. Maybe not with that clause. Is that not the scary? People you got right. coming in it would be, I think it would be Wait. way... Bigger bro, than what we're doing. Like, yo, we can't take any. Or you I can't think take absolutely. Out? I would love to do a bachelor. Out? Like, I would Not love to do the really. bachelor. I would love to do I, the bachelor. I sort of, I sort of like, I knew that going into it. That, that I, I gave them free range, but you, you, you kind of got to watch yourself sometimes. Fuck, because you guys got wasted every night. Yeah, pretty much. Who, who? And like, there's like fights and stuff. That stuff was real. So it's like, it's real life. If you get in a fight, you're going to jail. If you get in a fight, you're getting sued. Like, yeah. it's real life. It's not like. Ronnie went to jail, right? Yes. And he had to pay. Right. And he didn't pay for him? No, it doesn't work like that. So Holy we're not above fuck. the law there. Tell us So that. you're with a girl now. You have a girlfriend? Mm -hmm. How long have you been with her? Uh, almost like, oof, after the pandemic, like two, three years he, now. Like he met her on the show, like bro. I know. I don't know. I'm just asking. Well, I'm going to so, tell you. You met her on yeah, the show. Met her on, met her on double the show. Shot. Yeah. So it's a show public relationship. On. Yeah. Are you going to marry her? Um, I don't know. You don't know yet? We're just taking it day by day. <laughs> Put him on the spot. So what, you met her on Double Shot at Love, right? Yeah. Second season? Or first season? I met her on the first season. We didn't leave together on the first season. We did another season, and then I didn't really leave with her after that as well, but like. We started a relationship after what's, the second season. What's that like as opposed to Jersey Shore? So you have you and Vinny and then 20 girls, right? Mm-hmm. So that was way different. wild. Yeah. So the first season of Double Shot, we dated the same women. <laughs> so they had to figure out if That's we, dope, who though. we liked and they had to figure out who they liked. Love but um, You love that. Eh? You'd love to do that with me, yeah? That'd be fun, though. No, it's kind of cool with your Bro, boy, right? Do it. This guy's guy want to do it. No, nah, he's just <laughs> fucking I don't trust paranoid. Him, and he loves going for chicks that I've been with. No, that's not true, bro. Yes, it's just it happening. Is, bro. You know how it goes. He's the but rat. if you talk about like hot girl wants like being the top two guys, whatever, like dating shows. Listen, I wouldn't. I never wanted to have met her if it wasn't for the show. So yeah. it's like because there's a lot of dating shows. It's all. But like, how do you? Forgazing. How do you? How do you? This is the thing for me. Mm -hmm. How do you? Especially you, because your DMs are blowing up yeah. like crazy. You're probably getting titty pictures and all these different things. Like, how do you resist <laughs> temptation? Like, how do you like, you like this, like your girl's next to you. You've and all done it, right? I've been a savage, bro. Yeah. I've done it all. Like, I've done all that. So it's like, it's cool. It's, it's good to see the love. It's whatever. There's, there's fans that come to my shows. It's great. I'm in a relationship now. I'm respecting that. Yeah. But um, yeah, I, d I did all that. I guess that's a temptation. We've all made a mistake. Yeah. You cheated yeah. before, right? Back in the day, yeah, for sure. Back in the day. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, he's, he's a little inexperienced. He's, he's inexperienced. Listen to me. It's, it's an fine. open conversation. He's There's fine. no fucking rules here, all right? I get, I, I, and fine. I'm in a weird state of mind right now with shit that's going on. He's my going life. through a breakup. So I'm allowed to say whatever the fuck and I want. Told you. Him, how wait, pipe it down. How long was he with the girl? He's been with her like six five months. Five months. It's just he, like, here's the deal. I don't know. We're not fucking each other right now. But he said he said they only do missionaries. Five months. They just met. I know. I know. You hear what I said? Wait, what's that again? They only do missionaries. We're not doing this. I'm going to read the comments about my relationship. We're not doing this. So he's not like pleasing her. That's not well, listen. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot going on in my head because there was some issues. We're not getting into it. Let's move That's on. That's all right. <laughs> what was, what was the... a doctor in him. Um, I mean, he's doing them clinically. What was like the business like behind Jersey Shore? Like, mm -hmm. was it the same company that was producing it? Because that had to be a smart ass team yeah. behind the scenes. 495 so production. Right. Sally 495. She's a genius. So it was the same. The who was concept. It? Sally Ann. Say? Oh, Sally Ann. She is a genius. And um, she. Put it all together, and, and her filming style is unlike anything else that you see here. That there is no script. So did she like? You said they didn't have an idea. Did she kind of put that all together? She with, came up with the concept with the help of some other people. Um, but the concept is by her. Yeah, along with somebody. It was a like, developed concept that they developed, which is she kind of developed it on her like childhood. Because what happens is on the East Coast, people would rent shore houses. You know, the uh, the majority of us aren't from Jersey Shore. They they call it Jersey Shore just because we rented the shore house. Right. Like I'm from Rhode Island. And um, I think only a couple of them are from actually from Jersey. Like Vinny's from Staten Island. I
Angelina, she's 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 going through it right now. What do you mean and she's going through she, it? She, so she's um she's like married, but like they're unhappy mm. today. They mm -hmm. want to get divorced. Then the next day they're like perfect, and then the next day they want to get divorced. I can't keep up. Yep. I Bob, know. I think you should go with Angelina. And yeah. I talk to her every day. She comes to all my shows. She she's always out. Really? So she's is there any what? single? Was that she's supportive or she parties? She parties, but she, she I like Angelina. She has a good time. I thought she they parties. kicked her off the show. Oh no, she's on it. She left the show two times. Wait, but she's back now. Yeah, well, she's she back. Left, full I time. could never oh, fuck a yep. girl though that's married or has a boyfriend ever. Like, just uh, that's just my rule. I don't yeah, know. That was Wait, kind what? of out of right I field. I can never. No, truthfully though, if there's Wait, a there? smoke show, ten out of ten, <laughs> spread eagle, mm -hmm. ready to fuck me, and but she's like, she was, I have yeah, a husband or I have a fucking boyfriend. Can't touch it. Yeah, that's good. I don't do that either. That's good. You shouldn't do that. <laughs> that's, you, you can't. That's right? bad karma, bro. That's that bad good. karma. Yeah, thanks bad for sharing. Karma, man. Thanks for sharing. Just wanted to get that point in there <laughs> real quick. Resume the Who's interview. Who's on the show karma. right now? Um, so right on the show right now is um, it's me, Mike. The situation, Jenny, Nicole, Dina, Vinny, um, Angelina, and um, Ronnie's taking a break right now. He's uh, getting some 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 mental help. And uh, Sammy, she took a break and never came back. So it's pretty much everybody from the original except Sammy and Ronnie. I think he's coming back at some point after maybe rehab. What happened with Sammy? She's gone. She's out of it. She quit because she didn't want to do the show anymore with her ex, Ronnie. Yeah. And uh, she ended up getting proposed to and almost marrying a new guy that now is broken off. This shit's There's crazy. a lot. There's this a lot of relationships. That... Relationships are fucking crazy. Yeah, it is crazy. Who, crazy. who are you closest with? Probably Vinny, right? Uh, yeah. I and mean, Mike too. Yeah, mm, the and boys, and and girls. Too. Yeah, we, we, we talk every day, pretty much all of us. We have like a group chat. Is it's your lit. hair process the same every single time? <laughs> every single time. <laughs> so, what is the process? How do you get your hair sticking up like that? It's uh, it's process. You know, I got my own hairspray and hair gel too. You do. Should have brought some. Damn. Well, what is yeah, it? Shit. What is yeah, it? Um, it's got it. to be. They did a limited edition with my face on it. It's pretty lit. I'm gonna do the same thing you did on the next episode of the podcast. I'm gonna get my hair like that. Oh my god, let's product, do it. Your hair it's, it's actually. I easy. think we should all come out to a show and just spray tan and do yeah. the hair. And for oh, sure. Let's do yeah. it. We'll fun, bring Steve bro. too. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. Steve's Steve. in for that. He'll love yeah. it. Yeah. I got. I got nothing to lose. What do you think of his fucking hair? The you like the blonde? Hair. It looks good. It looks I think like, it looks yeah. dope on Steiny. Yeah, he got blonde hair. It's got to be recolored again, though. You got to put the, the blonde back. I in. did that okay. once. It is crazy. Did that whole process? I did it during COVID. I was Takes bored. Takes a while, bro. It's what a process. Change yeah. your whole hair. Yeah. You ever do it? Blonde? blonde? Yeah. Nah. So I highlights. Know you had a highlights when I was in grade six. Yeah. <laughs> you're in a. You're in a relationship. We obviously you care about your girl, and it's uncomfortable maybe to talk about. But who who's the hottest girl you've ever fucked? Like, holy, I don't know. Hottest girl. I mean. That we would know, maybe. That we would know. You gotta, you've suffered some Is that a bad chicks. question? No, I no, think it's a good, a good one. Question. I'm I mean, sorry. I just, I'd love to know that. Is, your, is your girl you comfortable with you talking about right. this, like, freely? Yeah, like, I mean, you ever, she's like, cool. pull, like, Angelina she's Jolie secure. or something? She knows our relationship's strong. What's that? Like, Angelina Jolie or, like, Scar you ever fucked, like, Scarlett Johansson? Um, not famous like that, nah. I think you're lying. His girl? No, I have, like, no famous ones like that. Nah, that's famous. Don't make me go into detective mode. Polly's not a kiss and tell guy. Yeah, yeah, no, no. that's a fa that's well. Give us a clue. Though. Is it like an actor? How can you, you not be really? though? Because you showed everything, right? Yeah, but like, there's still some certain things that you got, especially the famous ones that you got to keep some. of That's fine, of yeah. course. I respect yeah, yeah, that. Of course. But it, have you ever had it? You've had some big A-list hot smoke shows slide in your DMs. Uh, yeah, DMs used to be. Yeah, it used to be really lit. Oh man! So you turn the DM, right. DMs are off now with the girlfriend. Yeah. No. You got to do it. And then when you were single, how often were you firing back in the DMs back at them? It would be like during the shows. So I'll be in Chicago and you'll notice all the Chicago ones go through. So you respond, come to the show, come to the show. And right. then we'll always have an after party. And then whatever happens at that party, after yeah. that party. So what's your body count? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> I really don't know. Quadruple digits? Um, you think you're in the no, thousands? I don't you gotta be in the thousands, thousands, bro. I don't think so. Triples? Yeah. yeah. Do you I raw don't... dog everybody? No, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, time out. Time. I've always been careful. This is a real, this is a real well, fucking bro, I know it's true. Do you always run dog or what? I'll be honest with you, I have never worn a condom and I've never gotten an STD test. Holy shit, let's get this man a doctor. But there's no like <laughs> brand friendly guy right here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> fuck. I just Fash, shut, why don't you do your Fashion Nova? Oh, are you looking for a Trojan by the deal way, or what? Fashion Nova, I, uh, Rich got me hooked up with He's the Fashion Nova. Oh, that's what's up. I had, I had to pay a little respect to Rich. By the way, some of the most comfortable clothes I've ever worn in my life. Just want to say that. was a plug. Somebody got to pay for these lights. That's it. That's it. <laughs> um, damn, now you got to be wearing a condom, man. This, you do? Yeah, you got to do it, man. But it's so like, it's not as fun. <laughs> you're like two or three girls a year, so you're, you're chilling. Me. Oh, Burns. Oh, yeah. Brother. He knows. He used to, so Aaron used to work for me. All right. He's seen my lineup. I fucked his girl. It's no. Nuh-uh. Yeah. It's the one he's wearing now? This is why no, I the one for what? This is automatically Wait, edited out. Wait, while he was wearing? Automatically yeah. edited out. Well, automatically, we can go into it. 
Okay, wait, let me retell it. Let me retell it. Are we Did good? you guys fight? No, Aaron. No, he's my, Aaron, this is why you're called the rat. That's your label, is the rat. Now, imagine walking around bro, being the known, rat. You don't know want to call you the rat because you open your mouth you don't and you, forget, you don't have to get. See what he did when I asked him a question who the hottest girl you're bro, fucked? He kept his mouth shut. He did a dating show with 20 chicks with his best friend, so they were banging the same chicks. I don't it's, give a shit, Aaron. Good. You don't fucking talk about it's this shit, ever. Okay. Moving on. Yeah, well, off <laughs> later we'll talk about it. It's a good story. Awkward. Yeah. Sorry to make We'll talk about it later. Sorry, I didn't know he was going to get fired up like that. But you and Vinny were banging the same chicks on the show, right? Yeah, we were. Um, it was weird. We were Is dating the weird? same girls. Yeah, I'd be like making out one, he'll make out with the next, the same one. But the are next you day. banging on that show or not? No. Mm -mm. Why not? It just well, causes too much drama. Well, no, no, no. Yeah, that and this was supposed to be for us to find a relationship. So it was like coming off Jersey Show. They're like, all right, now we want to find a relationship. So doing that the right way, we're trying to do and not bang them. So we like didn't do it. There was no smush room in the house like there is in Jersey Show house. Right. So, but yeah, that was different. Was it hard to like not do that? Yeah. Yeah. Was that and like a rule? You can't do that? No, no, no. It wasn't a rule. We could, but we understand that when you, it's weird. It's like, it's like a, it's like a high school cafeteria with those girls. You hold one hand, then they're all gossiping. It's like crazy. Yeah, and they all like, wild. they're all, everybody's in your business. So if you would have done that, it would have been like, it would have been like war in there. So we tried to not to. What was it like as the seasons progressed that when you guys got famous and then you'd go out to the clubs? Like, did that change a lot of shit? Yeah, it was um, it was next level, and for me, I, I was never really used to that type. Like of... you'd go to the same clubs that you went to in yeah, season one, but then season the three, you guys were like, I'm yeah, like, so, huge, right? So we would open the door, and so similar to like when you so guys like, would girls Jersey literally house, be like, what the fuck? Like I'm about to go to the Jersey yes. Shore house. We'd open the door to go normally just film, and it's like Crazy. it was it was it was like the the crowd yeah. you guys had outside yeah. of there. So they had to actually they didn't want to showcase that on the show. Yeah. So seasons two, three, and four, they had to have security just crowd control and keep everybody away and they shot the cameras this way so there would be a crowd following the cameras i mean thousands of people and they would cut all the fan stuff but at the end of the day we're still going to the club and still meeting girls so we never knew if it was real at that point because like these girls already know who we are yeah so they definitely did at that but point, they right? did a great job of i guess hiding you would it. you never would have seen that yeah i didn't yeah. notice it yep no but yeah we literally but then uh, what's funny is during season one no one wanted to let us film right Season uh, two, everybody wanted to let us film. Yeah. yeah. We could film anywhere we wanted to. <laughs> was it weird with like the girls bringing guys back to the house? Like that ever bothered you? It never bothered me, but um, uh, it, it was funny because the guys were like territorial and it was like, oh, yeah. we would like give them shit. It would happen all the time. Like one time. You never um, want random guys in no, the No, that's like, you yeah, never yeah, want that. You know yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. The girls would, would like cock block too. And so we would do the same to them. It was fun. It was like a game. The girls would cock block? Yeah, oh, my God. Angelina's like, you got girls in a hot tub. Like, what are you taking the unders off? I'm like, yeah, that's the point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but they're like, they would, she would, I guess, kick them out. Like, it was, they would fight with them. Did it they, was a good show. Did they assemble that cast all through MySpace? <clears throat> no. Um, they had casting calls. Everybody got casted for that show differently. And um, sometimes they got casted for a different show. Um, and then they put them on that show. It's like weird. I didn't uh, sign up for a casting call or anything. It it's was crazy, just a MySpace Because that message. might be the best cast assembled ever. Yeah. Well, like, was it the biggest show in like MTV's yes. history? Mm -hmm. Is that a fact? Yes. Mm -hmm. Wow. Because it was like a phenomenon. Yeah. It was It was pop culture. Yeah. I mean, the sayings and the cheese, the stuff that that reality show did, a lot, reality shows don't do. No. Like a lot of. The you ever think about like doing stuff. OnlyFans or anything? I mean, I thought about it, but uh, because you kill were making stupid money. Well, he's right. with a girl but, now. Yeah, but if you, well, I'm saying if, like, if you weren't with the girl, like, well, how would you go about your OnlyFans if you created an account? Well, you could do OnlyFans <laughs> now, and you could just, like, film your shows. You didn't have to be, like, nothing, the craziness. What is it like, though, for OnlyFans? So if a guy wants to do it, so OnlyFans is basically, like, you could put watermelons on your tits, and if you pay $20, they take the watermelons away, right? Doesn't Tyga do it and make a grip of money? Doesn't he still do it? Yeah. Like, what does he do? He puts his he dick on it? No, he treats it like a Playboy, so he's, like. Don't you subscribe? He's like no, the I've brand. Used it. I've actually done it just as a favor to, when I'm with a couple of OnlyFans girls. I just did it as a favor, subscribe, and never, okay. you know, looked at it. Actually, I, I think, think he, he does like parties. porn now and shit, though. Oh, he does porn? Yeah, he does. Yeah. But he oh, also no like shit. sponsors girls and like tags them to blow mm. them up and shit. You would probably murder it on there. I mean, used to. You probably would, too. So I think I'm, I'm going to have to start. I might do it. You said you were going to drop a sex tape. Yeah, well, that'd be... Get the million dollars ready, brother. I'm ready to fucking go. Your page go. would be pretty dry on content, I'll do it at the though. Jersey Shore house. There you go. With all the cameras rolling. So how long have you been with Nikki now? I want to say going on three years. Were you surprised that you actually found a chick on that show? Very surprised, yeah. That's fucking nuts, bro. Yep. And we, we tried it out for real, like, because sometimes the cameras are on, you don't know, so, like, let's try this off the show and see if it works. It was after season two we did that. And then, uh, because after season one, I didn't pick anybody. And then uh, season two, I was like, oh, let's, let's give this an actual shot. And then I did that. And then, um, like, the COVID hit. We were, like, quarantined together, and we, like, built a relationship. Now she's, like, she's straight. Did Vinny find anybody? He did. 
on the first season, picked her, and then dated her after the show for a little while, and it didn't work out. And then season two, no. And then now he just stays in season three, and he sort of picked somebody like, let's try this and see if it works. Give it a give it a shot, mm -hmm. and um, it didn't work out. Was that there guy's... ever was there ever a point in the show when you, when you guys thought it would like fall apart for some reason? Like, was there ever any tough? Um, times. Yeah, a lot of times you're like, all right, these girls are fighting, and then a lot of them want to go home, and so like, oh, if these girls go home, it's a wrap because uh, we it's a dating show, but it isn't always up to us. It's up to the girls as well, and mm -hmm. some girls left on their own. That happens every season. You get a couple, but they always keep girls. Why would they? So they would leave for just reasons being they just can't take it anymore. It's too much. The cameras for some people just. It brings out a different side of them. They can't handle it. It's right. weird. So you'd wake up in the morning. You just, like, right when you get out of bed, everything's, like you said, always going. Yep, Rolling. always going. And even the way we film now is, like, we take these trips. They call it Jersey Show Family Vacation. We take these trips together, and um, they'll film it basically 24-7. It's like um, there's no cameras watching us sleep, but the second we wake up, they want to show us getting ready and then talking about the night before and all that content. There's probably some sick, like, producer, like, definitely beating off, probably, like, monitoring right. the cameras. I just want to know where that footage is. It's got to be in a safe somewhere. Right? That is, you should know <laughs> And then, like, what is. if somebody was Aaron's to happen to leak that, it. somehow get a hold of it and leak that? Like, where does it go? Like, wh Probably a big lawsuit where in your favor. Where is that footage? It's got to be somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. I think I'm going to start an OnlyFans. Sorry to be, like, off. I think I'm going to do it, actually. I just really... You need content, well, what are you bro. To put will on you, will yeah. you push it? You would post once a year. I'll, I'll, you, I'll toss you, you a swipe you up. just toss your dick up there? Like, I'm not being whatever. Like, do you put your dick on there? And, yeah, like, X girls going to feel a type just... of way. You're never going to get back to it. <laughs> or, it's true. Yeah. She's going through a lot right now, Paulie. <laughs> but you can make bank. I know these people are making money. Who, who, wasn't, like, Black China making a grip of money on that shit? Yeah. Yeah. Girls are making crazy money. Yeah. Just off, like, even one photo. Yeah, it's wild. And then what I don't understand is, okay, so you have to subscribe to it, but there's got to be that footage somewhere. So somebody can record it, and can they just post that somewhere else? I think good people will have, like, a team, like, deleting shit off Reddit okay. and all those other yeah. places. Yeah. Because I'm like, it's on the internet. It's there. Otherwise, it would it's just leave. So you guys are doing a new season right now, right? Yeah. Where's that? Based. It's, so it's all over. Right now, we're, we're doing the home kits, and yeah. we're about to take a trip. But the one that's airing right now, we air every Thursday. That one we filmed in the Florida Keys. Oh, Which, how was that? It was cool, but it's different now because of because of COVID and filming. Everybody has to get tested and all this stuff. We can't really go out anymore with the filming stuff. So it's like we basically rented a resort, and then it's all everything that happens within us. Uh, we're, we'll be able to go out now, but when well, we film that, we're on lockdown. Isn't everybody in a relationship on that show though? Yeah, so they call it Jersey Show Family Vacation, and they they show like their other halves, like my girls on the show, Jenny's. Um, Beyonce's on the show. So like everybody's married. Bro, that's not as fun. Oh, wow. Angelina's, oh, yeah, it's different. It's not as fun, bro. It's different. Yeah, yeah. it's definitely different. Are they and trying now, to like bait you guys to cheat, like do like cheat and stuff? No, no, not really. But like we like, like Vinny's single um, and he's on the show. So we like mess with him. Angelina's like getting divorced. So we're like throwing a divorce party when that happens, but it hasn't happened. It's like, there's so much drama still within this group. It's pretty crazy. Really? Yeah. Always something. I'm what? like, I can't even keep up. Every day is a new thing. But the DJing thing is your passion. Oh yeah. That's what I love to do. That's what I do, and then uh, use the show as a commercial. Yeah, that's smart. Do they know you kind of do that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They don't care? Yeah, no, we put on the show. Basically, I'm on tour anyway when they're filming, so they'll show those gigs, and that's part of that. That's my um, that's my storyline. So I don't, I'm not mad at that storyline. So what do you do when you actually DJ? I always wonder this. Like, do you actually do – is it like a – Pre-recorded, like uh, no, 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 I don't pre-record. <laughs> what I do is, um, so I, I I DJ at all these venues all over the world. So you never know what I'm gonna get. My crowd is so mixed, so I'm playing a little bit of everything. I don't make a pre-recorded set because my crowd, I don't know what it is. Like even tonight, it's that's majority like an EDM club, but my crowd m tonight may not be EDM. So I'll, I'll switch it up. I'll play a little bit of everything. I have to try to please everybody, which you can't do. It's impossible. Yeah. But I like to say I, I do a good job at that. But you Open just like, format. do you just like press a button and it just goes? No, no, no. I have controllers, turntables. I don't. Oh, there, there's buttons on them as well, but no, no, I, I never want to lose, lose that art form. Right. I started off on Technique 1200s, I and mean, we don't travel with those now. We use CDJs, but I, I like the art form. No pressing buttons. Do you produce? Uh, a little bit. Nothing crazy. I did a few songs. And then... I got to get back at it. I'm going to do another song soon. So do you stay, like, stay sober, or are you drinking, or...? I pick and choose the ones I drink at. So I don't drink at all of them, but I drink at a lot of them. <laughs> I like to have, I like to have, have a good time. Last yeah, how time I got wasted you, was New Year's how Eve. Do you, how do you decide which ones yeah, you like, do drink at? Well, it depends I feel on like the vibe. Like, those my DJs friends, party every yeah. night. Yeah, the DJs I, I know do get it every wasted, night. man. But like, so. in the middle of nowhere with nobody there, that's my friend. I probably won't drink. But like, my friends are there. We're all partying. I'll, we'll, we'll get lit. And like, New Year's Eve was the last time I got like really lit. It was fun. Where'd you perform? I was in Tampa. And then I did Vegas the next day, the first. We did like oh, three gigs. Oh. We started off East Coast, Florida, then New Year's Eve all the leading up your, to it. Does your girl travel with you everywhere? Not everywhere, but most of the time. Not everywhere? Depends on which one she wants to come to. 
So does she get worried ever that when you're alone by yourself, DJ in these sets and all these girls around, is she ever like, eh, yeah, nah. no, Polly? Mm. No. She gets it. She sees what goes on. That's why she comes. She can witness it. Mm -hmm. Who do you it's like fun. travel with? Um, Cook, my tour manager. I got an um, opening DJ I travel with. And uh, we utilize security uh, at, the, at the states, at the state that we're in. So what's tonight's vibe going to be? Like you go on at what time again? I'm sorry. I go on at 1230 and it'll probably be like a two hour set, hour and a half. I think they close at like 2, 2.30 or something like that. I'm it's going. Academy. I'll be there. So, yeah, you're coming with us. I'm staying in LA. It'll be fun. I'm going to go. Bob, let's go. Yeah, yeah. The, the room's dope. He said he's got you. I haven't spun here in a long time. I feel like you have more pull than Vinny, too. When 100%. it comes to like girls. We're doing uh, it. Yeah. You're good. 100%. Yeah, I mean, you'll be good. Trust did you me. Wheel, did you wheel with Vinny that night? No. no, I just got nervous. I tightened up. There was a couple hot girls that kept coming up, but then I realized that I was just like, they were just talking to me to get to him. So <laughs> really? Like, yeah, and I was like, thought I was the man. And then I checked myself. I'm like, damn. Well, there's two of them and two of you. Yeah, I know, Aaron. I just didn't. I was also in a relationship at the so time. So why don't you do like give him the hotter girl, and then you take the that less hotter? That just never came up. There's just a bunch of hot girls always going up to him. Yo, so did that actually happen with you guys? Like, one of your boys took the hottest girl, and then someone had to sleep with the not hot chick. Oh, that happens all the time. Yeah. All and you were always willing to do that for your boy? Well, no, not always. <laughs> Sometimes that was like, like a big this. thing on the show, though. No. Yeah, it is. You like take one for the team type of deal. Yeah. You, sometimes you do it, but um, you ever had any bad takedowns? Bad, yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> Who hasn't? Yeah. <laughs> yep. And sometimes you're like, oh, wait, what? How many did I have to drink? Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens. Like I know that. the amount of slang you guys had, like grenades. Oh, yeah. GTL, all that shit. T shirt time cap. Like it was like, just slang, like after mm -hmm. slang. And then, how like, did the merch work with that? Did you guys ever see any? We got of a little money? piece of it. We had to do it on our own, too, because the MDV owns a lot. They own, like, a lot of stuff. So. so at first, you guys were represented by three, like, three of you guys were represented by one manager. No, but our, or, our three managers were teamed up. Okay. Yeah. And then you guys all grouped up yep. like to get like- To negotiate, yeah. Because that must have been like interesting as the seasons went on. Like you guys were like, yo, like what's good, right? Yeah. Right? Or, oh, yeah. No, it got hairy for a while. Sometimes yeah. it, it, it it actually stalled production and negotiation sometimes. It, it happens. But um, they wanted the show to keep going, keep going, keep going. And I'm like, damn, as long as they want to keep going, I'm like, like, we'll keep doing it. They want it to go on forever. I'll keep doing it. It's like they, they film what's going on in our real life now. So it's almost like- I guess you could call it housewife style, but not really, because we still come together at some sort of shore house, but it's just not in the Jersey shore house. Yeah. So why do you think, like, to us, right, it seems like you have the biggest career outside of Jersey Shore? Like, because I don't, I don't know what the, the hell anybody else is doing, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, everybody has their own little thing going on, but um, I like to think it's it, it done wonders for my career. I like to keep it going. So, so, so like, what, are, what is Snooki and Vinny and all these people doing? Outside of Jersey Shore, so and reality shows. Snooki, she has like her own, um, her whole clothing lines and stuff like that. She has her own Snooki shop, like these stores that she has, like three stores now. Vinny's a stripper; he strips in Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. What? Yeah, that's how you found him, or what? Oh, he actually, I did remember he mentioned that Chippendales. He said he, but actually, he's, he's doing he Chippendales. Yeah. Holy well, he's shit! He's actually getting it. He said, he said he was not one. That's that where you guys <laughs> disappeared to that night. Listen, gentlemen, Interesting. Yo, holy fuck! Well, we Him a, and Vinny left before the main you, event. They hey, man, snuck I out. I, I was loved your show. I'm going to UFC next he, week. He did a private performance for you. Does he? Yeah. Uh, does he? Uh, going to UFC. Wow. You and Gabe and Listen, him. Listen, gentlemen, I already know what's happening right now, and uh, we're not going <laughs> to. We're ganging we're up. We're not going to allow anybody to gang up on the Godfather. Understand that? No, he really does it. He really owns that role. But he does the actual like fucking dancing shit. He told me he didn't do that. He told me he just orchestrated. Yeah, the deal okay. it. Yeah, say, okay. No, <laughs> let me, he dancing he around. Owns it, and he takes it really serious. It's he owns a difference. He it's choreographed performance. He does his thing. He's a construction worker. He's like, I don't do the show. Wait, he's on the stage actually dancing like this. No <laughs> fucking way. Off, taking showers. Yeah, he loves it. He's doing it again in Vegas. Let's um, go, baby. You, you brought him to UFC. I'm gonna skip that one. But no, I'd love to see it. Is he in Vegas? He Vinny's owns it. Like man. it's pretty wild. Like he he's like um. I guess an introvert, but not when it comes to that. Like, he's not really a social person, but when it comes to that, he, like, snaps his fingers, and all of a sudden, he's outgoing on stage. It's crazy. I like to see it. That's in Vegas, isn't it? Yeah. So you've attended one of these shows. Yeah. And yeah, we filmed it, too. On, on, we filmed it on Jersey Shore. Oh, word. Did mm -hmm. you do a good job? I sat in your seat. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. No, he does a good job. He does. He owns it. Like, that, yeah. right now, he's, he's, he's getting ready for it. I mean, he's dieting. Like, it's a, it, he takes Fuck. it real serious. Wow. How many shows a week do they do? Uh, every day. Every day? Mm -hmm. Wait, he's doing Chippendales every fucking day? Vinny? It was at the Rio, but I don't know if it's really? still You went three days in a row, Bob. I don't know why you're playing these games. I got the, I got the season <laughs> pass. Yeah. You know? It's like every day. He was killing it out there. They, they put him up. He does his little thing. So that's what he's doing. You guys live close to each other in Vegas? Well, I have a house in Vegas where they put him on the strip, uh, staying at with oh, like casinos. Shit. Yeah. I think they put him at the Palms. What show? Where's that at, that show? It used to be at Rio, but I don't know this year where it's going to be, if it's going to be different. He just signed on, so. Wait, but it's chicks watching, right? It's not dudes watching. <laughs> 
It's chicks watching Vinny dance, not dudes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. I mean, right. well, this, so, I mean, yeah, this could be some dudes. <laughs> then he should, I mean, that. that's great, great. Yeah, he's just, it's yeah. a lot of I'm like, if there's a whole other whole, no, you and, you and like, Gabe are in the audience. Sounding right? a little homophobic. Yeah. It's a lot here, of bachelorette know? parties. You and Gabe had tickets for a while. I mean, that's amazing. Ba- I, su- yeah, I support everyone. How was it when Situation was going through like his tax shit? Were you surprised by all that? Yeah, I was. Um, Cause he has like a, he had like a beast of a team and little, did he know like there was some stuff that was going on without his knowledge? I don't think he was too knowledgeable of what was actually going on. But um, that boy, he he like took his bid like a man. He paid his dues. I really can't hate on that. He it's came crazy. through. He took How his bid. How long did he go to jail for? He eight went to jail like, for, I want to say like a eight months. Yeah, I think it was eight months. And we went to visit him. This prison was 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 weird, man. It was, it was a rough. Was it state prison? No, it was it wasn't that bad. Like um it was just still weird to see him like locked up. But, like we were taking pictures. Like it was like it wasn't it was I didn't get patted down or anything like that. It yeah. wasn't like what I thought. What was it like? It was like camp. Ah. Uh, yeah. So his lawyers got him like nice. Yeah, he got a nice up. in uh in Otisville. Oh, he was in there lifting and but shit. But he right? did it, yeah, he was in it. Bro, he was getting hit two he was getting two haircuts a week. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> And uh, he was good. looking good. He like worked out, and um, but he took his bid like a man. Like he didn't, he didn't bitch. Not one. He took his bid. And he came out better than ever. He got married. Has a kid now. Nice. Good he's for him. chilling at the house in Jersey. Good for I'm him. happy for him. Two haircuts a week, bro. That's yeah, he crazy. was chilling, and he's doing well financially now. Still, oh yeah. How many haircuts? Because the show's still week? going. So he yeah. came out to a job. He came out to a house. He came out to now they have a kid. He came out to getting married. That wasn't um, like a preach in his. <laughs> why is two. that? Just I get lined up every time. Yeah, I mean, the top I cut maybe once a month, but I get lined up like this all the time. I wonder if you get fucked out of any money because of going to jail. Because a lot of times if you go to jail, it's a breach, right? And, and certain they can take certain things away from you. Wait, from where? If you get charged or you go to jail or anything like that, I think. I know he had to pay restitution or some, something like that. He had to pay some money back, but right. he was still chilling. He came out, was fine. He came out with a job. He was, he's got all these brand deals and stuff like that. Nice. The same thing that comes along with all that. Like he has like, um, he has like a, a nutrition line, brotrition or something. That's awesome. Yeah, he's funny. The situation funny. was funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah he yeah, was yeah. good. He's funny, but like I, I really like how he took his bid. He's like, I'm like, he took a, shit, like a G. I'm like, he's like, I didn't snitch. He's like, I didn't snitch on nobody. Like, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Dude, what, was what was your uh, What was your favorite memory from the show? <clears throat> yeah, it was like a crazy memory. I would say it was moment. We went to happened. we went to Italy. Yeah. Like we went to yeah. Italy, which was dope. We lived in Italy for like two months, and here we are, like these big like Italians. We thought we were like Italian to the key. We go to there, we're like, uh, we're American. Yeah, <laughs> it's a different way of life. There's like no breakfast. Like it's like, but we loved it. It was dope. We seen Vinny's family went to Sicily, and there's one of his uncles set it all up. Went to strip clubs out there. Stuff you're not supposed to film out there. Mm-hmm. Vinny's uncle got it done. It was dope. We lived on his ranch. Mm-hmm. We're like washing horses and shit. It was it was weird. Are you a strip club guy? Um, yeah, I used to be. I haven't gone in a little while. Yeah, I used to go. I live in Vegas, so the Rhino. Shout out. Kind of waste the money though, right? Yeah, but you know what? Now it's like a nightclub. Yeah. Like go to eleven in Miami. Eleven in Miami is the best. Yeah. Eleven in Miami is like awesome. Rush. I go to Gold Rush. You like Gold Rush? Yeah, Gold Rush is dope. Yeah. Yeah, we go to eleven in Miami though. Like that's, it's a club. Bob's now. not a big Miami yeah. guy. I don't think. I don't like strip. He's a big NY like, guy. I like big uh, of NYPD. I'm low key. You go to New York. I go to New York a little bit. I just don't do the clubs. Like I don't do what you guys do. Low key. It's just there's too. Wait, where do you live? I live in New Hampshire. Bro, this Oh, okay. But I'm also yeah. traveling. Shit, I'm, I'm spinning in New circuit, Hampshire. This fucking you don't circ- live in New Hampshire, bro. This no, fucking, you, I'm no, spinning you in New Hampshire. Hampshire. You go on a bender and then you go for, there for two days to try Here, and here's like, the deal. This is the calm thing. down. Oh, I'd love, hey, it'd be great to settle down somewhere. It's fucking impossible to full send podcast. It's every fucking you three days. You settle down anywhere. You have to zing around. And you guys set up shop out everywhere. Bro, I was already singing around. Yes, I was already singing around. You gotta have some discipline, Welcome to tour life. That's what we're doing. Just discipline. But you guys set up shop everywhere. That's why we can relate, yeah. I'll tell you what, that's why hats off to like Kyle and all us for doing the show. It's insane that like, you know, we get somebody like you and we're like hey why we get like the best guests and all that is we're willing to just go to them and yeah make it where they just step outside their house and we're just like hey we're set up and ready to go i know how that is too with the traveling the traveling is one thing Great but story, Bob. the traveling and the drinking together yes oh, that's what makes it's it insane. and you got to work it out makes it's like, it 10 times harder yeah hmm. no working out this was easy like shit. how many days i was in, in vegas i'm in the gym every single day that i can so like i worked out this morning at my house and then we flew right over here i live in vegas but um we utilize the hotel gyms whatever but um, I I, I got to get in. That's important for me. But um, but you're saying with the drinking and the traveling, it's it's hard what's to work the, out on no what, sleep. What's the longest bender you ever went on? Like bend, you know, bender without is? like working out, like just going party mode, not oh. sleeping wild. <clears throat> oh man, um, probably without no sleep. I don't think I can go any more than like three days. Like nothing yeah. more than that. Fuck that yeah. Then what's you yours? start to like three days. Wait, man. what's Bob's? Come on, you I'm can like a fucking that. android. I, I've I've had a I've had some crap. I'm not gonna say it. Probably like five days. Holy yeah. shit! That's like no, wait, no sleep, sleep at all. No, I mean, pro, uh, 15 minutes no, or something. Three, three days hard was the longest I ever went. Like, not a blink of an eye sleep. 
Uh, or like you sleep for an very hour. minimal. Yeah, not a blink. I like legit yeah. sleep on Crazy. the plane because we like leave the DJ booth at I don't know three a.m. one time, and then I have a show the next day in a different time, and I have to sleep on the planes. Like yeah. I can sleep on a plane, no problem. I like, like I sleep before it takes off. I feel like you should get Bob as a guest appearance on Jersey Shore, maybe. Oh, I'd love to. He could I'd hang in there. It. I would love to. And well, you're on a threat to the I would chase. love to get all you guys. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah, my yeah, relationship yeah. doesn't work out. I want to pop on and try and maybe find love on your shit. <laughs> Double shot. Yo, love then you're taking down. You're taking down. Yo, all we gotta grenades. find that video of Steve at Jersey Shore getting pissed. Yeah, bro. Can you try to search? That? Can you search? Are you on there? Or is someone? I can't really see what, it is. what is the video? Yeah, Matt, see, you can find it. It's search like Steve will do it getting mad at Jersey Shore House. You should just be the grenade guy. I don't think he guy. likes it. Sorry, bro, Steve. But Bob will be the grenade guy on Jersey Shore. Well, take you down can all the, definitely all the come for you guys. down. That's yes. a big move. I'll take some. I'll take some shots. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'll come in. I'd love to. Do, I'd love to do it. Thing. Yeah, if we were to do a video with with the whole cast, it'd we be should, funny. Bro. Some sort of like challenge or something. I don't know. Yeah, that'd be funny. Can Promote you work that out? Or get or something. Paul, if yeah. it doesn't, my shit doesn't work out. Can you work that out and get me on that show? Maybe for like a, a guest appearance. I'm sure we can do that. It's easy. You'd want That's like easy. a way higher appearance fee than you're like worth. No, though. I'm coming off of free. Yeah. <laughs> like they'd, <laughs> they'd offer him like he seventy five. Of yeah, they'd offer him a great deal. Like, nope. after, after AB, after AB, and he'd be like, "Well, wait, after I said merch and shit." Like, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna donate it right back to the NYPD. Uh, Bob's gonna say, "Yo, I want to be the highest paid guy on that show." That's it. Uh, I'll do you it. You guys but... had AB on here right when he walked off. You're like, still off the field. All right, yeah. he's gonna show him some <laughs> love. He got it done. Father, all right. Well, no one don't you. know what I did in the trenches. He got it done. No, that's why they're like, "Ah, yeah, you zap around." I'm like, "Well, I'm zapping." around. That was like straight from the field when he walked off. He came right here. Yeah, he didn't go home. It felt like that was my favorite comment. Him and Bob are good friends now, I believe it or not. Yeah, I was actually at the studio with AB. Really? Yeah, last at the studio night. every night now. It's fucking wild. We, uh, I tell you what, he just dropped a song with oh, Fabio shit. Foran Yo, Steve. that is un I saw the video for it. He did it in New York. Bro, the Pit to the Palace, eh. The fucking one he just did with Fabio Foran is unfucking believable Damn. That song. It's going to be a banger. I didn't really This is at in. the Jersey Show House? <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's no audio. Oh, he was lit. Was he? Was that really like? Was that? He's a- getting pissed because we were getting kicked out. I guess, bro. He's- and you guys paid to rent that, right? Yeah, yeah. He's living the part, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is like he in the house? Ronnie, you look at this. Yeah. It looks he's like Ronnie Jersey. Jr. It looks like an episode. He's fucking yeah. Ronnie, bro. <laughs> this looks like an episode of Jersey Shore. <laughs> is he? He's t- he's tan to be funny. Is that what he did? We, yeah, he's he sprayed tan. Oh, yeah. nice. I remember this because I was like, "Yo, these guys made some noise over there." Because everybody tried to do that. How many people hit you up and were like, "Yo, look at these guys at the Jersey Shore house." Oh, so many. Everybody tagged me in it. And then, but like, I swear, everybody tried to do this. This is what everybody's goal was, to party like with the party then Jersey uh, Shore. And you guys nailed it. This looks like an episode. <laughs> Dude, Steve you looks like he belongs in the cast, bro. <laughs> Yo, he, he does. He got a tan and everything. Oh my God, dude. Steve's the fucking man. Yeah. So what was he pissed about in this? Because they were getting kicked out. We were, get, we were getting kicked out. And if the fans didn't back up. So I guess he was trying to like. He doesn't want to leave that house. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. And that was the wanna... merch drop, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so dope. If you want to make some noise, you guys made some noise. What, what was the craziest thing that happened in that house, honestly? Oh, we had people trying to break in every, oh, all the night. Well, somebody actually made it in. Broke like, in? Girl, yeah, broke in. A Imagine chick? that with all these cameras, right? And somebody still was able to get in. They Security kicked them out, but people were able to get in. Was it one that, chick? Uh, it was one chick. And then, um, obviously, we had people jumping over all the time, but there was only one chick that actually made it in. I remember that because I'm like, what is going on? I thought we had a new cast member. She walked in, and then they kicked her right out. And then after since that day, they put up, like, this wall, and now... You, you couldn't get in. Like, nobody can get in. They actually gave us security guards. Like, it was like this big thing. How many security guards worked on the uh, property? <clears throat> they had the police as well. And then they also had security guards for the cameras mm-hmm. because people would try to mess with the cameras, get on camera. And they had security guards, like, sort of for us, but not really. Like, mm-hmm. if we got into a fight, the security weren't, they would just let us fight. Like, it was real they let life. let you guys fight randos? Not, sort of. Like, they would, they would break it up, but... They weren't there it for us. The security at the club, like a normal, like if you're going to fight at a club, security's breaking it up. Mm-hmm. That's the ones that broke up our. How many fucking fights do you guys get in? Every night. Every, every night. night? Yeah, every night. Because no one liked us at first. They yeah, were like, that's... who are these kids on camera? So we like fought. Season one, everybody fought. One time there was a full on brawl at Bamboo. It was like things were getting thrown, everything, cameras were getting dropped. It was wild. They didn't air any of that because the cameras got dropped. Have you ever got hit hard? No, I haven't got hit. Well, who, who was like the instigator yeah. on your squad? <laughs> Uh, me and Mike, <laughs> because we're like, yo, we let us chip. We're just doing our thing. Like it was like, just then Mike basically... would be like, yo, fuck this guy, and you'd be like, all right, let's go. Yeah. So what would be one thing that would like get you guys pissed off? Like somebody chirping you? Just basically um, chirp your hair or what? No, you know, like... I mean like if they threw something off, they said we didn't belong there. A lot of times we didn't belong there because we weren't re- from Jersey. I'm like, I'm not from Jersey, but don't say I don't belong there. I'm visiting. I rented the house right. technically. But, Damn. Like, it, but at first, we caught so much heat from people that didn't want to say. But then season two, everybody was like, it was fine. There were really no fights. 
Italy, they didn't really like us in the clubs either sometimes. They were like, who are these kids? Fuck, man. And, and New Jersey, when we're at the clubs, they would call us Bennies. I don't know if you know what that means. Yeah, that means no. you're like from out of town. It's like, you're like a jerk off from out of town. <laughs> Bennies. They would call us that, yeah. Well, did, did that like surprise you that you guys were hated when you walked in there? It surprised me. I'm like, what the hell? I don't even know these people. What, why, I mean, why do, they, why do they hate us so much? I'm like, why do they hate somebody so much? Bro, I can't even. Th- it's probably not even fun to go out when it's like. But that. then the cameras intensified it, so these people like want to show off for cameras, so they like yeah. they're in front of the cameras waving around like idiots. Mm-hmm. It was fun. How often <laughs> when you show. walk down the street do people stop you? Right now? Yeah. Um, it, it's it's every time. It's usually chicks, dudes, all all. The all the, oh, that's the interesting thing. The demographic it's all over the place. Mm-hmm. It could be old, could be young, could be girls, could be guys, could be. It's pretty. It's pretty wide. Ask Cook, like even today, like that I guy bet, that came yeah. up to us today. I'm like, what? What was that? That that guy that came up to us at the beignet place. Like that guy didn't. I'm like, how's that guy wear Jersey Shore? It was like 70 years old. My parents would recognize you. Yeah, yeah, for I'd sure. I'd recognize you too. Yeah, I mean, I don't watch the show, but obviously, it, you, yeah. <clears throat> and that's what makes DJing interesting too. It's like a lot of big DJs' names. If you mention the name, you don't know what they look like. If you mention Paul D, you know what it looked like. You yeah. can actually put my name without the face now, yeah. which is dope. What's the craziest? chick story fan moment where she just was nuts. You love these. <laughs> or, listen, I'm asking the real shit right now. This is I feel like you're trying to get wanted. in that game. Damn. Going through uh, the breakup. Like, like what? That's some psychotic chick that just fucking whatever. What about that stalker that... on the show? So this, the stalker's still around. What? Really? No yeah, she's still around. Up. And uh, she will be there in New York when I'm there. She'll be, she knows the hotel I'm staying at all the time. How? How do you know that? We switch it up. We should prank her. She's there. So is she hot? We should, we should prank her, her somehow. No, no, I'm just kidding. Wait, you know, how do you want to break it? That'd be funny. I don't know. We got to think of something. So she'll always be there. And she's, it's the same thing. She wants a picture and she has like this thing she wants me to sign. It's, so wait, it's the same well, stalker from the show? Looking? Yes. Is well, she there hot? was two on the show. There was one Danielle and one Vanessa. The Vanessa's still around. Danielle's not. Danielle maybe went back to Israel or something. Is she hot though? Oh, the... no. Okay. She's not hot. No. Who is the one that was like a stalker? Do you need me to take though? down the stalker? Which one? Right? Was it? Was <laughs> <Israel>. <laughs> oh, there. She's not around anymore. Let me swab on her, man. No, let me fuck well, Vanessa, fucking Vanessa, she you take coined her herself as a stalker. She like, she's still around. She comes to every East Coast show, and then she's at the hotel waiting to sign something. Really? She, I call her my number one supporter at this point, so I sign the papers, whatever. So you let her come, even though she's crazy as fuck? Yeah. Because she's go, harmless. Would yeah. you, she's a supporter. Would you, would you fuck her? Honestly, no. no. Uh-uh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just asking. No. Would you fuck her? I don't know. Honestly, no. That's probably single. not what you want to do with the know. stalker, Bob. No. <laughs> Maybe he would. Like, he, she's obviously showing a lot yeah, of support so fucking, to him. I'm thinking that Polly could so be throwing her owed, away. You think she's owed it? Our new audio <laughs> guy's like, why the fuck did I take this gig? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While well, he's banging yeah, her, this, she's going to stab day, uh, Good No, no. America she's here. harmless, but it's just, it's, she's a support. She's, Jesus. she's a supporter. She called herself the Polly stalker. It was like her Instagram. How much would it cost? How much would we have to pay you, though, if we were like... Look at Vinny. She's showing talking, a lot of support to you. Are we talking cash? I mean, excuse me, Paul. Okay. Yeah, like cash. Like, hey, oh, crypto. You, you got to fuck this girl. What would be the What would be the price to fuck this? Pay me an NFT. No, I'm kidding. Uh, no, I don't think it'd be you any money. You just wouldn't do it. All yeah. right. So if I'm crossing the line, let me know. My bad. I just no. Applied. You're no, fine. You're good. <laughs> you're good. All right. I, um, I, I listen. I can handle anything. You're straight. Yeah. You're good. We're gonna get yeah. this guy laid tonight, though. You think you can? <laughs> do you think you actually could? Yeah. Actually, what? could what? That easily? Actually, could what? Get him late. I need no help for it. Well, actually, Vinny didn't get it done. That. Vinny didn't get it done, bro. Vinny actually tried his best, and I will say, yeah, we didn't get it done. We, we, but I also was in a relationship at the time. I'll stop the music, and I'll literally tell the crowd. I'm like, who wants to sleep with this man? <laughs> what do I do when that happens? What's my reaction? <laughs> but do you show him or Grab no? the one that raises the hand. Cool. What do I do? <laughs> you got to sleep with the You got to sleep with the stalker. Like, yeah. You got to sleep with the stalker. I will fuck the shit out of that stalker. <laughs> <laughs> That's good for you, though. <laughs> Um, I'm taking down the stalker all day. <laughs> Vanessa, you heard that? There you go. Oh, actually, now uh, she, she starts stalking me. Actually, no, I won't be. Won't well, be she heard this because she will be listening. Really? Mm-hmm. Shut up, Vanessa. Yeah, shut up, Vanessa. She'll uh, be in New York. This has been a great. I, honestly, this has been good vibes. Yeah, you guys, no, I, that's why I love your podcast because like you guys just like talking just shit, just talking shit. How, how long have that. you been a supporter of Full Send and shit? Ever since you guys made that. Actually, I knew of you guys before that. Yeah, a little bit before that, and then I'm like, ah, oh, cool, you know. And then I was like, oh, this is dope. And then I started following. And then all of a sudden, it's like, y'all guys blew up. Happy Dad, the whole. The we got to do some sort of. Movement. We got to do some sort of collab or something. Yeah, that'd be something dope. Cool. I don't know. Yeah. Watch YouTube videos something and stuff. Right. Yeah, I watch Steve's YouTube's. You guys, it's like. Um, yeah, ever since I, I, yeah, I'm, I comment, comment, comment if you guys have any ideas. So yeah, what well, we should do together. I think it's just you go with the stalker play. Yeah, stalker play. Good play. You just want to fuck. That'd be funny. Yeah. Maybe you join in on like him and Vinny's dating show. You're the third guy. 
Like yeah. it's no ass. We yeah. should do a bachelor for Bob. Focus no ass. Are you out of your fucking eh? mind? <laughs> Aaron, are you out of your mind? You know no, what they did? Deadly. You know what you can do too? This is, uh, I took this idea because I saw it on uh, on YouTube yesterday. The kid Aiden Ross or whatever. Yeah. He did the um this like dating show online a little bit. It was with Chantel Jeffries. And yeah. he had like a lot of people just sign in and then she can pick who she wants to cancel. You do that with all girls, right? He'll control it. Yeah, you guys will control it. And then you'll be like, all right, so now. why do you want to date Bob? And then you ask the girls and then, then you get finalists and then you cancel. Them out, well, and that'll maybe, be the one we gotta find girls that want to online. No, but wait, okay. maybe, maybe, Paul, him you're, and Paul, you're, uh, you're really onto something here. I Yo, like him and saying. Vinny, yeah. him and Vinny recruit the girls and then give you the advice, and then oh maybe my you'll God, get laid. We could be a dating coach, yeah. All right, <laughs> there All right, we go. So, we're gonna get this in motion. I'm gonna call Scooter, <laughs> I'm gonna call Scooter but, Braun and that's right so now. easy online. You gotta talk to my manager agent, Scooter Braun. So, uh, sorry, last night. The long, we'll tell a lot of different show. But. Oh, I know Scooter. He's a good guy. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't like me too. Well, they're not really boys, um, but online is easy. You do it on that Discord, whatever you call it, Twitch, yeah. You can do it on Twitch. And but then, when, you, um, when you go to your, like, man. You go but then your, you got a data. When so you when pick you go her. to, like, 99 plus requests, right? And you press that. You know how it's, like, nine, you get so many messages? It's like nine, So nine, intrigued with your yep. DMs. You press that, and then all of a sudden it's like, whoonk. It's all just pussy everywhere. I mean, yeah, and a little bit of weird shit. People want to see your feet, too. Yeah, there's some gay dudes. I make a lot of money slide. selling my feet. No, I'm kidding. I didn't do that yeah. yet. But right. if it gets down to it, if this DJing shit falls okay. off, I'll sell my feet. People yeah. often well, some good money. Well, what's your goal as, like, a DJ? What's the biggest gig or what's the fucking goal? My goal is just to keep out, um, keep this momentum. Like, I want to keep it going. I want to be recognized as one of the top yeah. 20 guys, you know, and I'll be happy with that. I love what I do. I, I, I align myself with the dopest clubs in the state, and that's what I want to do. I want to DJ at all the biggest clubs, boom, do some festivals maybe, stuff like that. I do want to produce more, make some more music. Who, who do you think is the best in the game, DJ, right now, besides if you can't say yourself? I would say Diplo. Diplo is one of my favorite. What makes him the best in the game, in your opinion? He knows how to control and read a crowd. That's the way I gauge. He kind of knows what to play. You, know, you need to know. Everybody can play the top 10 songs and be dope. You got to know when and how to play them. So like tonight, for instance, if you come, you'll also, I'm, I'm maybe you don't like. Yeah, I'm going to. <clears throat> so I'll take uh, like a dance song or whatever. Some people don't like dance music. They don't like hip hop. I got to make a hip hop person like dance music. I got to make a dance music person like hip hop. I'll mash them up in a certain way. I'll play it in a way. Throw in some, some, some wild cards, play some rock, do some crazy shit. But you got to give them a memorable experience. So when you, vibes. when you play the music, like you drop you the, the music on, then you look mm -hmm. in the crowd and see how they're reacting, obviously, right? So yeah, you're monitoring yeah. the crowd and the music. Yeah, and what, I'm, what I mean by reading the crowd is like, all right, if they're not really responding to this type of music, you switch it up. And I have yeah. no problem with taking requests or anything like that. I'll make it work. And mm -hmm. I also like to engage with the crowd. It's important because they're actually getting a poly experience. They're not just playing music. You'll see. It's it like must a be whole... a DJ's pet peeve, though. Like, so it's, you're <clears> probably at another level where it doesn't happen, but <clears> probably beginner DJs, the annoying people that go up to them and like play the song, play the song. Yeah, I mean, that happens, especially when you, like, just played the song. They're like, yo, can you play it? Like, we just played that, bro. Right, yeah. <laughs> and even when you play it, they're not listening. Like, ah, so it is what it is. And you make gotta, it happen. They got to play Grease You pretty good in order to get a song played. That happens, too. They throw money at you. It's you just take it kind of dope. No? Uh, not really. Ends have up you, on the floor. What's, you, what's your, like, emergency song, like, when the crowd's not feeling it? Like, what's the emergency <laughs> ox banger? Oh, that, like, people can goodness. play. Because we used to do that, too. Like, when we're in the, like... If we like bring girls in the sprinter on the way home from a club, yeah, we have those like emergency ox throwbacks. Yeah, like, like a good Usher, one. Yeah, or something. Yeah, like the yeah. throwbacks, like best I ever had at Drake. Yeah, like the ones yeah, you just yeah. what's what's some of your emergency ox like? Oh my bangers, goodness, throwbacks. I would say started from the bottom. Now we're here. Like Drake is always a go to. He doesn't miss, so you can always some drop something Drake Drake and they're and they're hitting. But like old school, like Usher, something like dance song like that, Pitbull. <laughs> you mean they'll get it going. But those are like the emergency tracks, yeah. Have you ever had like a bad reaction from a crowd that was like, yo, fuck this set? No. No. Mm -hmm. That's too many people. They're just so happy to see you. I could literally play. Do you ever troll them? Like play like Rhinestone Cowboy? All or the time. <laughs> you do? Yeah, all the time. Uh, I, I, love, I love to troll the crowd. It's like funny they get Wait, a really? out of it. Yeah, 100%. So how do you do that? Just basically when a major drop's going to come and you just drop something different that they oh, wouldn't fuck. expect. And they'll be like, ah. Oh. And they'll be like, ah, what the you gotta hell? Do that that you you got to do that tonight for us. Yeah. You got to give us your best. That can piss people off. Yeah, it does. That's but hilarious. then you gotta save it. So that the whole thing is you get you'll piss them off for that one second, but you better save your yeah. ass after that. That's funny, bro. It's like you better play something dope. It's fun. I like to mess with them. They get kicked out of it. Cause I'm a prank I'm a prankster. You guys are pranksters too, you know. <laughs> Usually we have the clock running. I don't even know. It feels like I can't how long have we been? I think we've done like an hour. Oh, I have no idea. I'm just saying this feels uh, it's a great it's a great talk. I've learned. Yeah, yeah no doubt. Right? Do you have any other questions about like DMs and requests and shit or you really, you bring up what DMs? I'll, I'll probably do is I'll probably run it by you tonight. Maybe I'll we'll do some one-on-one -on -one time, 30 minutes tonight. We'll talk. <laughs> yes. oh, are we doing Academy? Yes. I can't go out again. No, I'll die. I can't yeah. go out tonight. I'll go for I'll It's go open until 2.30? Yeah, it's open until probably My guy was out until 6 a.m. last night. <clears throat> so uh, I'm, I'm only scheduled I for like, my,
So What's you, that? Like, does somebody like announce you when you come out? Oh yeah, my opening DJ. Oh. Does mm -hmm. the does the club pay you by like the hour or how does that work? Nope, by the set. Oh really? Yeah, I mean like contracted. I'll be contracted for like two hours, but I always go over. And I don't make a set like I said, so I'll just keep the vibe going. And if it starts to die out, I'll I end it when I'm supposed to end it. But like Vegas never dies, so I keep Fuck. going. Miami doesn't die. What's no. your favorite city to play in? Or do um, Miami? It's gotta be Miami, right? It, I would say Miami and Vegas are my favorite. Yeah. yeah. Miami's I miss amazing. Canada. Miami's the fucking best. I miss man. going to Canada. Oh like we had a gig God. in Toronto. I was doing Rebel, but it, I think Vinny was telling me you guys were when you guys used to go oh, to Toronto. Oh, the Pizza Fest, we did Vaughn. You guys were huge there, right? Yeah. It was dope. There's a lot of Italian people. So out many there. Italians, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I like Canada. We miss it so much. Cook, we want to go back, but it shit got, got postponed. Open up the fucking borders, man. Yeah. Is that not yeah, we're, you can't go to Canada now? Is that what it is? Barely. Well, I, don't know. I don't know what's Strict. going on. This new Omarion. Yeah. Whatever it is, fuck it. Fucked everything up. That's why I'm not playing Omarion tonight. Do you have kids? I have an eight year old daughter. How's that? Oh, nice. It's good. I didn't know that. Does the traveling and stuff make it difficult? or? <laughs> no, she knows. She gets it. She's like, she understands. And I get her um, for like a week, a month. And then um, I'll stay home that week and it keeps me home. And then uh, I like I like uh, seeing a mini me. Bro, that's it's crazy. You can balance that shit. It's a lot. I think that's the biggest like it's thing to lot. overcome. Yep. It's a lot. when the we travel. go to Vegas and shit, like, I've gone with Kyle, I've gone with Bob, but the DJs are fucking wasted, bro. Yeah. Every time by like 3 or 4 a.m., they're fucking... Blacked yep. out. Yeah. So I pick and choose. Like I don't. I drink at all of them, but get wasted. You got to pick which ones you're gonna get wasted at. But when I'm wasted, I'm a good time. I be like talking shit to the mic. I be talking too much. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know you had a daughter. Yep. Eight year old. You think daughter. about having a kid? Like, he might have a kid. No, no, not yet. I couldn't. No, I couldn't be able to do it. But it does when you do have a kid. Kids are the best. You know. Some oh, people's lives change for the better. Right? When you have it, oh, what about like saving the relationship? If he had like a, you know how they have like the kid to save the relationship. No, that's never a good idea. Oh, no. okay. No. Never a good idea because you're like making it work just for that. Which not just for that. It's an important thing, but right. So are you so the you have a kid with a former girlfriend or a former wife? No, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. I just don't know. I, I, no, no, it's okay. <laughs> I just don't know. I'm learning here. It's totally fine. Nice. Sweet. I mean, this has been fucking. I'll be honest. I love this. This is yeah, one no, of amazing, bro. I've been dying to do this. Shits, bro. I think Shit. we stop now and continue at Academy. Let's do I'm it. I'm with it. Let's That'd go, baby. Let's go. Let's do it. So what is, uh, oh, yeah. there's no like, you got no pr hair product. Don't we always plug the guest products? You got a sub shop. Yeah, what's next? What's you next? Got what do you I got Poly D subs going. How's on that Hub. It's pretty dope because if I open up a restaurant, let's say I open up in LA, only people that come to LA can get it. This puts it in everybody's, you get anybody's state. They, restaurants can sign on. We get the ingredients to them. It's pretty dope. So like Poly D subs is in like 300 locations. No way. Right now. Really? You know what I mean? So it's like, so what is it on Grubhub? Grubhub, yeah. So you stuff, go I got that. gotta order that shit. Holidays. Yep, I got some tanning, tan, tanning lotion, stuff like that. You can see my tour schedule on my website. Let's you ever go. overdo the tanning thing? Because the tanning thing you can be all the time. To do it right. Yep, I always overdo. I got tanning bed in my house. Yeah. One time when we went to Italy, when we came straight back, there was no tanning beds in Italy. I came back and went tanning like three times in a row. I burned my whole face off. Mm -hmm. Do you do the There's spray tan or do you do the actual lay in the bed? Do thing? both. But are you afraid of the melanoma? Nah, vitamin no. D, man. What's like a big show we should come to this year? If you know any big show. Um, Story Miami Friday. That would be a good one. Lit. Are you guys in Miami by any chance? No, when? then. Uh, Who this knows this Friday. fucking point? But we're there all no. the time. But we'll, we'll be around. Yeah. I would come. We'll stay tuned. Yeah, stay tuned because I would come to like some pool parties in Vegas because they're about to be lit. Yeah, let's go. But you guys always you gotta take your shirt off there though, right? If you're in Vegas, you don't got to, but you should. If you want to, you probably shouldn't. You should. No, that's why I don't fuck with that place. Well, Anyway, said, Bob, that's why I don't you can't wear a sweater for no, sure. Sweater, yeah. yeah. No, well, you yo, yo, you'll be at fucking Chippendales my... anyway, so it's like fuck up, Aaron. Okay, sorry. Relax. All right. <laughs> all right my fault. We, uh, I mean, this we been, good. We yeah. good. I think all right. Thank you, you're the fucking yeah, man. Thank you, bro. Oh, appreciate it, brother. Thank you. Man. Shout out to uh, Katsuya SBE. You guys are the goats. Yes. Awesome. See you guys next Wednesday. Let's go. Thanks, bro. That was awesome. Yeah, that was dope, man. It was good talking with you guys. It was awesome. Really, really good meeting. It was good talking with you guys. Real pleasure. See you, thank you, bro. No, anytime, bro. Appreciate it. Yeah, we'll appreciate it. It's awesome. We'll hit you guys. Yeah, absolutely. Dope. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. We, 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 we definitely gotta do something together. Just something, yeah. Just Find something dope. It's gonna be a yeah. really great episode. Like yeah. you just tell the way it flows. Yeah. Good. So. Are, you going, are you going or not tonight? I'm gonna sleep tonight. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop. I'll pop by, baby. But oh, let me know. We'll, um, you guys, we, we gotta support our guy. Up here, so I'm going. So yeah. Bob, let's go. I'll pop by. I'll pop by. <laughs> just like literally, I slept two hours, bro. So I'm hurting. We'll keep it going. <laughs> you gotta figure this is something new to you. No offense. Like. All right, Paulie. Good seeing you, bro. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for having me.